we have called this press conference to emphasize our position as a party and as an opposition that the new property tax regime proposed by the government is untenable and cannot be allowed to stand. The burden imposed on the people, all the people, by this new property tax regime is too great. It is our position that the excessive and disproportionate increase is only going to have a negative effect on our citizens. We take, for example, the breadbasket parish of Mandeville or St. Elizabeth, where the increase has been so excessive. A farmer who here before would have paid ten or fifteen thousand dollars on property tax is now being asked to pay fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars on property tax. That farmer has to send his or her daughter to Kingston to University and rents a room for thirty thousand dollars, and that student is now being told that she or he has to pay an increase in rent by $10,000 a month. This is the real impact that this increase is having on our citizens, and we cannot support it. The, the valuation increases are extremely drastic, ranging sometimes up to over 1,000%. In looking at that measure, it was necessary for there to be appropriate mitigating steps in the structure of the tax as implemented so that this would not have such a profound negative impact on so many taxpayers. There should, for example, have been a cap on the increased tax liability of any taxpayer as a result of the implementation of this measure. The cap could have been a 10% on the previous year's liability or some such whatever percentage it was considered to be reasonable and proportionate what we have is a totally uncapped situation, so some individuals are facing uh, massive increases which were not foreshadowed and which they were not expecting. This is poor governance and it, it can't work. And the problem with the property tax is that it is erratic, it is unreasonable. Um, if somebody gets an increase in their tax, any tax of 100%, that would be cause for concern. You have persons who are saying they're getting 500, 1,000 percent. This makes no sense. And uh, these things that are, are issues that the sector is crying out about and is going to have a, a very negative effect on the industry. In terms of the property taxes, um, as, as the spokesperson and the leader opposition said, they have to go back and look at it, do the sensitivity studies, look and see how it affects people. If their compliance rates are already so low, how do they expect by just increasing it that they're going to collect even more? They must go back and do the proper work and come back. Otherwise, they continue to put the important sector of tourism at jeopardy. Thank the you. government currently collects about $6 billion from property tax. It, what they are proposing is to raise the collections by 66%, by two-thirds, in the course of one year. And it is the extent of this increase that they are seeking which, in fact, makes this particular tax regime oppressive. In desperation, some of the spokesmen for the government are trying to assign blame to the previous administration to suggest that somehow we are responsible for this. I, I, it, it, you know, it, it boggles the mind because really the government in announcing all the good things that we had underway, such as the hotel construction, never assigned responsibility to the PNP for those benefits. And, and everything that we didn't do because we were conscious enough to recognize that these measures could not be implemented without more careful consideration. They tried to assign to us and to blame us for their lack of, of effective governance.